Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own. Pause the video, give it a shot. Then when you're ready, resume the video and work with me on it. All right, let's read the problem. It says a cylinder has a diameter of 14 centimeters and a volume of 120 pi cubic centimeters. They want to know what the height is. So I want to sketch a cylinder out, right? Cylinder, okay, is my top. Take a ruler or a line tool, sketch out the sides. Then we have a circle on the bottom. I'm gonna just kind of estimate that here. And then dots here to infer that it's behind us, uh, behind the image. So it has a diameter of 14. So, okay, let's label that. So diameter, right, it's from here to here. D equals 14. Also, I'm going to zoom in then. It also means the radius is half of that. Radius is 7. And we want to know the height. Okay, we don't know the height, so let me just switch that to my line tool. Height is what we're trying to find. So what's the height, right? Question mark equals height. The volume we're given, though, the volume equals 120, 112, excuse me, times pi. Okay, so let's just backtrack. The, the, the cylinder um, has a volume formula that's based on the circle. Pi r squared is the base times the height. So here we're told that the volume equals 112 pi. And so 112 pi is the volume, and we must have used pi r squared times h to get it. So this is a, this relationship's already forming. Um, I'm going to divide both sides by pi. And what does that get me? Well, 112 times pi divided by pi, that's 112. And then pi times radius squared times height, then divided back by pi, which is radius squared times height. We know the radius, it's 7. So 7 squared is 49. So 49 times h is equal to 112. And then h would equal to 112 divided by 49. And if we look at our choices, A and B are out, D is out, it's got to be C uh, because our numerator is larger than our denominator. If we scale this fraction down by 7, 49 divided by 7 is 7, and then 112 divided by 7 is 16. Check it, it'll work. That's our height. Hope this helped.